My master waits for you in the Mournhold Tribunal Temple. A word of advice. Don't keep him waiting for long. Only the most powerful mage in Tamriel. Lord Fear has walked the roads of Nern for millennia, plumbing the deepest mysteries of the Orbis. He strides between Mundus and Oblivion with ease. Daedric princes tremble at the mere mention of his name. It's not my place to question his decisions. He ordered me to find you, and I obeyed. Lord Fear values diverse perspectives, but he has few mortal peers, so he often breaks bread with unusual people. Perhaps you strike him as unusual. arrived at last. Come forward. We have much to discuss. Arrived. I am Devaith Fear, Wizard Lord of Telfear. I trust no further introduction is necessary. I seek a Daedric artifact. It lies hidden in a brass city filled with danger, curiosity, and contradiction. You will accompany me, if you wish. A voyage that only a few have ever undertaken. We will travel to Sotha Seal's peculiar experiment, the Clockwork City. I have inquiries to make. You will assist me. I do. The Tribunes are not so clever that they could hide such a place from me for long. The city is quite close, and also very far away. Just the first of Sotha Seal's many paradoxes. If you choose to join me, be prepared for many more. You saved the life of a living god. 
Yes, I know all about your service to Vivek, and your conflict with Clavicus Vile. Foiling the plans of a Daedric Prince is no mean feat. I can think of no better companion for my journey to the Clockwork City. Of course you will. Naturally you have questions. Alas, they will have to wait. Servants of the Tribunal do not look kindly on blasphemous journeys like this one. Meet me at the waterfall north of the city. We can discuss the details there. Prepare if you must, but make it quick. Time is not on our side. The three fill the world, like the land, sea, and sky. Behind the waterfall. My companion arrives at last. Now then, our journey begins in this dreary little cave. Quite a surprise, yes? Believe me, it won't be the last. We can speak freely here, but do make it brief. All this natural splendor is just tedious. Father of mysteries, the clockwork god, the tinkerer, and other such banal titles. The Sothaseel, or Set, is a member of the Dark Elf Tribunal. He reigns over Morrowind as the god of craft and sorcery, the wisest and most reclusive of the three. Ha! No one truly knows Sothaseel, not even his hordes of wild-eyed worshippers. I studied with him before his ascent. And even then, he defied comprehension. His only true peer was Inderil Nerevar. Such a shame what happened to him. Indeed, Saint Nerevar the Captain, our king and greatest champion for a time. He died, tragically, during a journey to the heart of Red Mountain. It was all very sudden. Some believe his retainer, Dagoth Ur, struck the mortal blow. Others... 
Some believe that Sothasil, Vivek, and Armalexia murdered Nerevar so they could take divine power for themselves. Well, who's to say what really happened? In any event, Sothasil emerged from the mountain even more inscrutable than before. I think it's irrelevant. The silence of Sothasil may come from a place of grief and deep regret. It might be a side effect of his fierce obsessions, perhaps both. How he became a god is no concern of mine. I respect his knowledge, nothing more. Sotha's seal hides everything. But more to your point, it's not just a city. It's an incomprehensibly powerful, world-shaping device. Can't leave that sort of thing lying about, can you? Also, Almalexia worries about how it reflects on her divinity. Yes, Seal's fellow Tribune. A machine can be studied, and perhaps understood in time. She fears that by reducing their divinity to a machine, Sotha Seal lessens the mystique of their godhood. To his great credit, Seal largely ignores these concerns. A Daedric artifact. I take a keen interest in all such objects, but this one seems especially significant. You see, nearly everyone who searches for it winds up dead. I suspect that someone or something hid this artifact away in the clockwork city. Other people are not to faith fear. I've not lived this long by shying away from dangerous relics. Anyway, if this artifact inspired someone to slaughter scores of mages, it's clearly something worth investigating. The father of mysteries, the clockwork god, the tinkerer, and other such banal titles. The Sotha Seal, or Set, is a member of the Dark Elf Tribunal. He reigns over Morrowind as the god of craft and sorcery, the wisest and most reclusive of the three. No one truly knows Sotha Seal, not even his hordes of wild-eyed worshippers. I studied with him before his ascent, and even then he defied comprehension. His only true peer was Inderil Nerevar. Such a shame what happened to him. Draft given I remembered. Follow me. Welcome to the Dwarven Cold of Palm's Arm Shen. As it is. Ironic that AM's holy city of Mournhold has Gwemric roots. No one knows this route, but this scaffolding looks new. Built by rogue ordinators, perhaps? Stay watchful. So the seal always did admire dwarven industry, albeit quietly. Perhaps that's why he built his city here. This lift will take us to the nethermost depths of the ruin, and to our destination. Come along.
You go. The entrance lies just ahead. You see, just across the ravine, that's our door. My, my. Someone clearly didn't care for these factors. Stay close. I'd say prepare yourself, but nothing can prepare you for what's to come. Touch the sphere. The clockwork city awaits. Someone diverted our passage. Audacious, but foolhardy. When I find them, I... Wait. I feel... Cold. Back, creature! My shadow! My power! Don't let it escape! Totems! They're activating! Ready your weapons! I will assist you as best I can! Swivel swords. Oh, wonderful. 
I'm in no condition to navigate this maze. Go. Find a way to deactivate these traps. Perhaps I failed to impress the gravity of our situation upon you. If my shadow gets away, we may never escape this place. So if you have something to say, say it quickly. Yes. And perhaps something more. In removing my shadow, our attacker removed some vital part of my animus. My soul, in the common parlance. Without it, my power is severely diminished. Needless to say, this, this will not do. This may surprise you, but I've never had my shadow ripped from my body. Even so, I will devise a solution. Don't trouble yourself with the finer details. Just be prepared to fight. Much will depend on your ability. Do not fail me. Not yet. We should have translocated directly to the Brass Fortress, SEAL's chief municipality here in the Clockwork City. But somehow we ended up here. Vexing. Yeah, one step at a time, if you please. We need only to find a landmark or map or something. Once I determine where we are, it won't take long to find an exit. Just leave that to me. You focus on these traps. Spinning knives is not an epitaph worthy of the brief fear. Now, onward. I'm eager to see what new wind up absurdities await us.
soon as possible. Sotha Seal constructs his clockwork servitors here, the factotums. They reject anyone who doesn't belong. Someone meant for us to die here. Remedial spellcraft is all I can muster, but I will aid you as best I can. Lead on.
how much you miss a thing until it tries to kill you. More ridiculous machines? I've had enough of this. Come. We still have a long way to go. Behold, the Clockwork City. Finally. Sothaseel's brass fortress waits at the end of this road. We should go there at once. I'm keen to find out who sent us on that delightful jaunt through the new Martis. Follow this road to the brass fortress. When you see the Way Shrine, veer north, or what passes for north here. If you have other business to attend to, I'll not stop you. Just meet me at the gates to the fortress when you're ready to proceed. Concerned for my well-being? Oh, touching. With time, I should make a full recovery. You performed admirably in there. I must admit, I had my doubts. But don't worry. I have doubts about practically everyone. No. I hoped that in reclaiming my shadow, I might catch a glimpse of our adversary or my prize. Alas, nothing. Seems we'll have to conduct inquiries the old-fashioned way. Have you forgotten so soon? I came to the Clockwork City in search of a Daedric artifact. Our misadventures in the Pneumatis and this mysterious relic share a common point of origin, I'm certain. Now, it's just a matter of rooting it out.
more important matters to attend to? <laughs> Fine. Conclude your business quickly and meet me at the brass room. Follow this road to the Brass Fortress. When you see the Way Shrine, veer north. Or what passes for north here. If you have other business to attend to, I'll not stop you. Just meet me at the gates to the fortress when you're ready to proceed. I warned you never to come back. And you, one of Fear's lackeys, I take it. Luciana Pullo. Hospitable as ever? Go talk to her. I'll not waste my time speaking with a petulant toy soldier. Hold there, friend of Fear. I am Proctor Luciana Pullo of the Clockwork Apostles. I don't know how you and this egomaniac breached Lord Seth's Celestia drone, but I won't have non-citizens stirring up mischief in the Brass Fortress. Only just arrived and already trying to grease the gears? New arrivals must secure an endorsement from a citizen in good standing. I'm prepared to overlook your atrocious choice in companions if you can find a sponsor. Until then, you are tarnished. That's for you to find out. Not many citizens will risk their reputation on a green-heeled stranger, and you'll find no comfort from me. Maybe you should confer with the other tarnished over there. In the meantime, obey the law. I'll be watching. Tread carefully, Fear. I'll be watching. Luciana clearly hasn't lost her charming demeanor. Predictable. Ah, yes. Their bizarre sponsorship custom. I forgot about that little wrinkle. As a friend and peer of Sotha Seal, I come and go as I please. I suppose it would be best for you to wait out here. If I need you again, I will find you. I'm not a citizen. And even if I were, I'd not waste time wading through their opaque bureaucracy. You've proven yourself to be more than capable. I have no doubt you'll figure something out. Gain your sponsorship. We will speak again soon. I appreciate your assistance in the pneumatic form.